Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. So I did a little rough milling on just some walnut scrap that I had laying around in the shop. There's really no rhyme or reason to it. Most of it is pretty ugly stuff, but it's gonna be great for drawer fronts on shop furniture. So there's just a ton of knots and things I gotta fill in and I didn't have any scrap that was big enough for the bottom drawers. So we're gonna have to glue up a couple for the bottom drawers. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and get this stuff curing so when it comes time to do the final milling and install the drawer fronts, at least the parts will be ready to go. So that's where we're gonna start and then we'll get going probably on some doors tomorrow, at least I hope. Um, I have some other scrap walnut up there, so I'm gonna see what I've got to make uh, rails and styles and see what I've got for some quarter left to make the panels, nothing fancy. I know walnut seems fancy, but this really was pretty junky walnut that I had laying around with offcuts that I couldn't use. So might as well use it up in some shop furniture. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and, and fill some knots next, and then we can final mill these probably tomorrow. Okay, I've used blue tape in the bottoms just to dam anything up from running through. And I'm using West Systems Epoxy. And I'm just going to Fill these up and then let them sit. And I'll come back every so often and heat the bubbles out because it will, it will bubble just a little. And I don't mind leaving some extra on the surface because I've still got a final milling to do. Okay, so since there's going to be so many poles in the new shop, I opted to just uh, purchase an option, just some simple black poles. I have that one just kind of set on there, make sure it's the look I want. And next up, I'll go ahead and, and create a template so that I can locate them all. And we can start getting drawer fronts mounted. And then I'll come back and do some edge profiles and whatnot on the drawers. Okay, so I created this little template. It's, the, uh, it's exactly the same width as the drawer. I have a center line marked on the inside. But I don't really need the center line for locating on the drawer because my template's that length. But I did locate for the pull itself and I'm just gonna put a pilot hole in there Then I'm gonna use these holes to actually mount the drawer front. Then I'll come back off the inside and put a couple of screws in it and then I'll widen these holes out and install the handle. And all I did was center the the drawer front on the opening. I left a little bit more in the center because this one gets a cupboard door. And the other ones will just be gapped evenly. And now I can pull that all back off and give it the edge treatment that I want around the actual drawer front. So I like to use these little rubber sanding blocks. They just fit the grooves so nice. And I'll take an older piece of sandpaper that I've got and get a little bit more out of it. It's going to give all these a nice light sanding. 
And I'll also go ahead and soften all the corners just a little bit too. I don't want anything real sharp. And just like that, I can probably hit it with a little bit of armor seal and go ahead and install it. Okay, so there's that one kind of all the way through and that's what all the others will look like. I'm gonna go ahead and get all those in um, and I'll show you what it looks like on the other side. This will probably take me the better part of the day to do all those. I think there's 14 in total. All right, well there's those 14 drawers all done. Uh, walnut fronts turned out great. I'm happy with them. You know, they're not grain matched or anything special like that, but they'll look pretty cool for shop furniture. So next up, I'm gonna try to get after the doors and then get after the pullouts for the Festool cabinets. And then hopefully by that time, the shop guys will be finished up and I can get the new miter station into the new shop. Okay, so I picked out some more scrap out of the bin to make some door frames. Um, and I have a sheet of plywood here behind me to do the panels. Just gonna be a, a maple quarter sheet panel. Um, but just like the other scrap that I use on the drawers, this stuff has some knot holes and whatnot that need to be filled. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those going today and hopefully tomorrow and come out here and make some doors. Okay, so I've kind of laid out the parts where I want them to go. I've marked them all where they go. I've also labeled the insides where the grooves are gonna go just to kind of dummy proof my parts. Um, and I haven't decided yet exactly what I'm going to do for joinery. There's, there's lots of options. Um, I could simply go to the domino and make this quick and painless. I could miter the corners. I could do splined miters. Um, I could also do quarter inch tenons on these. It'll match up with the grooves that we cut for the panel. There's just so many ways. So for now, I'm just gonna leave these long while I ponder my choices. And I'm going to go ahead and get the panel grooves cut. I'm just going to use a single table saw blade and cut my groove in here, make an adjustment for the panel, and then uh, and cut the final grooves in them. So we get that done, and then, uh, then I'll make a decision on the joinery. Okay, so I've made my decision and I've chosen to go with the domino, not because it's faster, but because I just don't know that I get enough mortise and tenon here uh, to be strong enough for shop furniture. Um, and I didn't really have enough stock to go ahead and make it longer and really, really get in here. So we're just gonna go ahead and get a domino, maybe two in there. Uh, and then I'll come back and, and just plug these little through holes. Not that that's a major deal on shop furniture, but I'll come back and plug at least the top ones anyway. And there's a good dry fit. I get these glued up and curing for the day. Okay, there's the doors all glued up. I'm just gonna let those cure up and then we'll uh, look at getting them hung and hopefully completing these cabinets here before too long.
Okay, so while I'm waiting for glue to dry on the drawers and stuff, I thought I could get going on some of the pulls for those four Festool cabinets that we're gonna have. Um, all total, I'm looking for about 11 or 12 different pulls. So I dug back into the walnut scrap, and I mean, this is just, this is hideously ugly stuff. So it's a good time to go ahead and get the milling done, and if I gotta get epoxy going on it, I can get it going now. Uh, these are all just, way too thick and I think I'm gonna rabbit the bottoms of each one for the plywood to go in. So I have plenty of depth in my cases so I'm not concerned with, with that. Um, but for now I think I'm gonna resaw these down just a little bit just because I think that'll be quicker than pushing them through the planer. Um, and then I'll probably go ahead and add this, this little profile, this little 45 chamfer to each one. I can rabbit the backs and get the epoxy going while I'm waiting for all that other glue to dry up. So that's what I'm gonna do next. Okay, so there's all the fronts and the sides that I've picked. They're all just, of course, rough milled. Um, there's still another milling to go. And those three on the left there are the ones that are gonna need epoxy work. So it actually turned out better than I thought it was going to. There's no rhyme or reason to these. The only thing they have in common is they're all walnut. There's no grain matching, there's no, there's nothing. This is all purely out of my scrap bin. So I'm gonna get the epoxy going on those and we're gonna let everything sit for tonight. Okay, so this is the uh, Euro hinge jig I've had for quite a while. Um, I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce this. Headache. Um, I'll leave a description for it if I can find it online again in the show notes. It's just super handy. The center bit is set up for the cup hole and the two outer ones are the pilot holes so there's no squaring up to do when I'm done. It's just a matter of install and, and go. So, and the same bit fits all three. Okay, and I use this little jig from Rockler to mount these pieces. Uh, just picked up the same center line that I did off of the door, pulled this over, used a Vix bit to, to pick up my holes, and we're ready to install the door. Get my own cords and stuff out of the way. Just like that. She needs a little tweaking still, but she's in pretty good shape. She's almost there. Okay, well there's both doors on with a little bit of armor seal on them. Uh, nothing super fancy, it was all scrap wood. I wish my floor was a little bit flatter so I wouldn't have to use the quick clamps to hold the cabinets together, but I think the next shop will be a little bit better. So next up, we're gonna get after those drawer pulls for the Festool pullouts. Mm -hmm. 